Welcome back. So we are in the Tri Cities of Central or Central South Washington. And the Tri Cities is made up of Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco. And we are headed to the Best Buy in Kennewick. So I can get a new external hard drive since I forgot mine. To back all this video up while I'm traveling. Not to back it up, but I don't have room on my laptop to keep it all. Far enough memory cards. In half a mile, turn slight right. I need to get some more memory cards. I have enough for four days, roughly. I need to get enough for six to seven days, because my plan is to do, like, try and do, like, a lot of up to In one In one quarter trips. of a mile, turn slight right to bypass highway. Turn slight right to bypass highway. Oh my gosh, I have to go to the bathroom already. Proceed four miles on bypass highway. stoplights on this road for being a highway.
too many lights in this town. <laughs> and you get out of here. This is the biggest town I'll be in for the next four or five days, possibly, until I get back to Seattle. We are going way out back on this trip. I could have went through the town to the interstate we're going to and I can't imagine it would have been any slower. a mile, enter highway to I-80 to east towards Pasco. But first, we have In one, one third of a mile, enter highway ahead to I-80 to east towards Pasco. We have one more stoplight for you to stop at, maybe. Head to I-82 East. I in one mile, use the two right lanes to take exit 5A on the right to Washington 240 East towards Kennewick. Use the two right lanes to take exit 5A on the right to Washington 240 East towards Kennewick. Keep left to Washington 240. It's a not confusing town to drive in. It's very spread out. Keep left 
to Washington 240. In one and a quarter miles, exit right to Columbia Center Boulevard. We are almost to the Best Buy. to North Columbia Center Boulevard. of a mile your destination is on your right city of Kennewick in one quarter of a mile your destination is on your right ah, they got a mod pizza oh this is at the uh, mall basically it looks like You have reached your destination on your right. Huh. I don't see it. Shoot. I'm at Barnes and Noble. Huh. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to get the phone out. See what's going on. It's across the road a mile. I think there used to be one over here because when I mapped it, two of them came up. But there is nothing here. Yeah, I thought that was odd. They don't usually put Best Buys at the mall. strip mall. Yeah, it's got to be in here somewhere. Head east toward West Canal Drive. In 800 feet, turn left onto North Young Street. Oh. Big old 
the speed bumps. Next Strip left onto North lines. Young Street, then turn right onto West Canal Drive. Take the next right onto West Canal Drive. In a quarter mile, turn right. There's an Amazon customer service store here. I've never seen that before. I don't understand what it is. Oh wow, they have an old country buffet. It looks closed though. Those things were awesome back in the day. Take the next right, then turn right. All right, there it is. They have an office depot and a Best Buy. Your destination is on the left. got the um, hard drive, 4 terabyte, and they were busy at this Best Buy. And I think I found an Army Corps of Engineer campground. It might be off of the Snake River area. Turn right onto West Canal Drive. And it's like a half hour away. Which would be perfect. Continue on West Canal Drive for one mile. Yeah, this area is really built up. Got every story imaginable right here. They didn't have very many four terabyte hard drives left. So I'm glad I got one. feel better though now. So there's a couple campsites in Oregon just south of the Washington border and I think you gotta pay at them. The, the Army Corps one should be free. They're normally free which is awesome. I like free. drive through Pasco in a bit. So it goes from east to in west. In a quarter mile, turn left onto North Edison Street. If you go east from east to west in the Tri-Cities, I think it goes Pasco, Kennewick, Richland. That's how it is. Ah, this is my turn. I'm not going to make Take the next left onto North Edison Street. Shoot. Back on the freeway. Oh, I got a yellow. 
Turn right onto the Washington 240 East ramp to Pasco. Oh, I need to fill up with diesel if I get a chance. Shoot. right onto the Washington 240 East ramp, then merge onto Washington 240 East. Oh, I hope this works out. Take the I-182, US-12 exit towards Spokane, Walla Walla. Oh, 
a mile, take the I-182, US-12 exit towards Spokane, Walla Walla. Take the I-182 exit. I wait two to three hours of copying files. In a quarter mile, keep left to continue toward I-182 East, US-12 East. Continue for six miles. We have 17 miles to get there. I hope it's nice. If it's like the Grant County campgrounds that the power company made, it should be really nice.
should have cell service, which is good. It's always a plus. And let's do a weather check for tonight. In two miles, take the Washington 124 East exit toward Waitsburg. So the low in Pasco is 54. That's not bad at all. So it'll be in the you know low 60s, upper 50s most of the night. Let's do a weather check. Here is the forecast for Wednesday, May 24th, 2023. Tonight, some clouds. Slight chance of a shower throughout the evening. Low around 50 Fahrenheit. Winds north northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not bad. So I brought some firewood from Safeway. And I'm going to try and save it until I get down to Nevada. Snake River. So I think the campground will be. It'll be on the southern banks of the Snake River, I think. Oh no, it's not. It might, I'm not sure where it is. In half a mile, take the Washington 124 East exit toward Waitsburg. Take the Washington 124 East exit, then keep right at the fork. So we're going about 10 miles out of our way, but worth checking out. If it's not good, I still have time to go down to the Oregon campgrounds. Keep right at the fork. Continue for nine miles. Ah, and there's a gas station on the way back tomorrow morning when I come back. So Hood Park has a campground too, but it's a little too close to the city for me. I want something a little more remote. Oh shoot. My phone is not doing a good job giving me directions. Oh, Hood Park. Might be decent. We'll go back to it if we have to. Ah, so we're basically going to stay at the Ice Harbor Lock and Dam camp campground, I think. I actually wanted to go there. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, it's only 10 minutes out of the way tomorrow morning. 10 minute drive extra 10 minutes tonight. Well, tonight doesn't matter. If I was going to Oregon, I would be driving this. So I'm going to stop this video. That was the Tri-Cities. Thanks for watching.